It is a first for the New River Valley. The former Jefferson School in Pulaski will soon be the home of the new vertical farming facility. 10 News reporter Duke Carter shows how it will also be an economical boost to the area. It's nice to be working on something that has a little bit of an impact in the area. And Cody Janelle uh, so with Veg Inc. is to looking get. to transform this building, the former Jefferson School in Pulaski, to a vertical farming facility. And we're excited about the, the project. Imagine a farm that allows our nation's produce to be taken out of the ground and grown indoors. Janelle says Imagine vertical farming helps grow an additional 10 acres more produce, which can help food scarcity in rural and urban areas. Also, vertical farming can bring jobs to Pulaski. You know, provide food to these economically suppressed areas in even, you know, urban areas too. If, you know, someone managing the building, um, you're going to have to have somebody growing the crops. You're going to, you know, which, you know, takes a team. Yeah, when this becomes online, it's going to really put us on the map. Pulaski um, County leaders are pleased. The vegging, they're working to repurpose former schools in the area. Leaders are pleased because once it's operational, it generates more tax revenue. And the main reason leaders are pushing for vertical farming is because Veg Inc.'s farming model could be the blueprint for other rural areas to start vertical farming. But climate smart tech uh, is something that's going to revolutionize uh, the food industry. Uh, it's, it is responsible, sustainable, and we think that is another major market. Um, Pulaski County really is a perfect home uh, for this type of, of operation and these types of investments. Veg Inc. leaders will start revamping the 20,000 square foot building in phases. The first, which includes the front and about seven classrooms, will cost about $1 million. Leaders hope to break ground and have a farmer in the building by the end of the year. I really feel like once we get this first phase under our belt and people see that, hey, there's stuff happening in this building, it will it'll kind of snowball into the next uh, next couple phases and fully produce positive results in the community. Reporting Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.